attack speed. Uh, let's slow it down. I'm a little stupid. Music. I want to turn that down even more. <laughs> I'm just trying to adjust myself on my seat. That's what you thought before the novelty wore thin. Novelty, as, a... as in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it said? You better not be lying to me. What did you say? War thin. Is that not right? Novelty war thin. Yes, that's what it said. Then what the fuck did you? Why'd you say that then? <laughs> I'm saying novelty game. as in what? What is this novelty that it is speaking it's of? It's fucking Gravity Falls. It's in Oregon. Nothing good. Okay. As of now, your legs are cramp, cramp, yep, cramping, cramping up. up, and your stomach is begging for something to eat. Brother, why? <laughs> On top of all that, you're pretty sure you're lost. Real shit. Driving through Oregon paints a picture of trees, trees, and more trees. Especially on the endless winding roads that you are that are you that you're taking up north. <laughs> All that breaks up her is a sign that zips past the words that you're just able to make out. Gravity falls. Because you drive on, you can feel it. Something strange is bound to happen here. Something weird. Grandpa's brother. <laughs> that's when it happens. Your car picks up speed. And you drive off the side! Yeah. The last thing that this heard just was <laughs> mute. The change came out of nowhere. You quickly put your foot on the brakes, but horrifyingly, the car seems to be driving on its own willpower, trying to stay calm despite the panic welling in your chest. Right? Uh -huh. You pull the emergency brake, only to find that the car resists and keeps moving, moving forward like something is pulling it. The car begins to rattle. You wheels screech Brother. against the country road, and you're screaming until... <laughs> Why do you keep picking up your mic? You're gonna fucking unplug it again. I like touching the mic. Bro, stop. There's smoke. Dot. Why is there smoke? You crash, you dumb bitch. Something lands on your shoulder. A hand. Are you alright? What the fuck is oh. this? A man stands at your open car door, his hand on your shoulders. Lee. Shoulder leaves to tilt your head up. And he pulls a flashlight from his coat, shining it in your eyes. Two blinks, and he lets your chin go. His eyes start over the rest of you, looking for injury. 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 You're <laughs> still stunned. All you do is watch. What is your name? Regular person. Should we name ourselves something stupid? <laughs> don't. Okay, no. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. Bingus. Bing Oh, fuck. You're typing <laughs> up a lot. Ovaries. Oh, fuck. Overflowing trash can won't work. God damn it. Are, are you naming it after things that you see in your room? <laughs> I would shake your hand, but you look shaken up enough as it, as it is. Yeah. Freak. Brother. You seem fine. As far as I can tell, but you shouldn't head back out there anytime soon. Where on earth were you driving in such a hurry? You open your mouth to explain when a voice calls from inside the house. Point Dexter, this, this better not be one of your experiments again. I've had this place rebuilt too many times to... <gasps> Sweet Moses Ford, you've done it this time. What? This had nothing to do with me. I was testing my magnet gun in. Oh. <laughs> Bitch, that, that makes it sense. has everything to do with you. <laughs> you were the reason that we fucking crashed. <laughs> I have head injuries now. You have to cuddle me. Pull this victim of circumstance into the house. I suppose it's entirely my fault. I'm incredibly sorry. At least you admit it, right? <sighs> Cry. <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, let's act out each one. Like, okay, reassure him. No, it's it's fine. You, you... Asshole! <laughs> reassure yourself. It's fine, it's fine. This fucking asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep calling him an asshole? <laughs> and then crying. <laughs> Out of that example, which one do you want? Okay, okay. Tear. A tear streaks down your cheek, and before you know it, you're crying. Bitch. <laughs> Woman, look. Oh. Intensely uncomfortable, but Ford reaches out to give you a hesitant pat pat, pat, pat on, on the, the shoulder. shoulder. I'm glad we made them uncomfortable. I'm glad of <laughs> what we did here. <laughs> hey, look, it's fine, all right? Sure, there's a dent in the hood from the shack's signage and a crack in the windshield that looks like an ominous triangle. But I'm sure it should still run. You try, try to start up the car, it sputters, but ultimately, nothing happens. You feel like crying again. Do it. Well, let's call a drug duck for this unfortunate soul here and forget. I'll take care of it. You're right. It is cheaper to do it yourself. Six or... 
get that magnet gun out again. Crush yourself with it. I take some sort of miracle worker to bring this baby back to life. And this miracle worker is on vacation. Oh, Stanley, a moment. Ford and Stanley turn away, and you're left to your thoughts. Who could anticipate a car accident like this? Anticipate. I could have sworn I said that. <laughs> That's not what you said. Who could anticipate a car accident like, <laughs> like this in the middle of a road trip? It can take care of the, ca- of the car, but how are you going to get home? <laughs> they run buses out of here, right? You could take a bus to get out of here. And then... Ford clears his throat, shifting a little awkwardly in place. Seems like they finished their talk. So there's a few options. My brother Stanley could drive you out of town to find a place to stay for the night, or you could just stay the night here. Maybe. I have some maps and information you can look at at the gift shop in the morning. We can help you with the car. What do you say? I mean, it's not like nighttime, bitches. Why don't you help me now? Grunko Stan, picture this. A whole week of, oh my gosh, autism. And the girl that runs out of the house comes to a halt at the side of your car. Oh, great. Grunko Ford? I don't think it happened. Why does everyone automatically think that I'm at fault? Cause you are. Well, this time it is my fault. Thank you. But I invited autism <laughs> here to stay the night with us for the night, if they like. But I'm sh- I'm sure I can fix this. I just have to figure out how. And let me introduce myself. I'm Mabel. You can ask me anything. I pretty much know everything there is to know about this place. Uh, what? What? Wait, hold on. I haven't said anything yet. I appreciate your offer to let me stay. But, and repair a car. Thank you, asshole. Yeah, it's be good as new in my hands. I mean, look at that. My stand mo- mo- What is stand it? Stand mobile. Stand mobile. I think stand mobile. Like, he's like a phone <laughs> service company. Who knows how many times she's. I can't read. You'll read. She's been through the ringer. Who knows how many times? And she's still butte. Still butte. He points out a red car parked a distance away. You can't really see how beautiful it is at this distance, but he sounds really confident. Fertitious. Fertitious. Yeah. For, no. For, fortuitous. Fortuitous. Asshole. Right. Yay. Okay. For your parish, free lodging? Oh, wait. I forgot about the, hey, you stay at our house. That is a little weird, but. I mean. There's no better, better deal to be found, and if things don't work out, the town probably has some sort of auto repair shop you can head to instead. What happened to you reading? <laughs> you read, bitch. Uh, Autism says thank you. Read, <laughs> My apologies again. What an embarrassment. I've, I must have made such an elementary mistake. As the pines lead you inside the house, Mabel leaves her number in your phone for you to call whenever, and you find out that Ford's twin goes by Stan. I'm gonna adopt the kids. <laughs> I'm gonna, adopt I'm gonna the steal them kids. away You've from- You've only seen Mabel! We haven't even seen Dipper. I don't care. I'm going to adopt them. What about Zeus my- or Wendy? I'd adopt one. They could come with me. Hey, I like you, Autism. <laughs> Tomorrow? Then I'll have to squeeze in all my get-to-know-you questions in today. Autism, tell me. Capybara, yes or no? Yes. At that moment, a boy passes in the hallway at the far- our door, and Ford calls out to him. Dipper, my boy. My I'm boy. Surprised I di- <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't see you run out to the scene of the crime. Crime? What crime? I have an alibi. I- sw- Oh, you have someone with you. Crime? Come on. Wait, oh, fuck. Oh, I have so many. Hey, haha. I'm not suspicious at all. Why? Did you guys see the car are in the side of the shack, though? For a second, I thought the Manatars were back with the grudge. Hey, bud. Have you been listening? I'm surprised you weren't there at the scene of the crime. By the way, have you seen the crime outside? About that, Dipper. Meet autism. I've, uh, <laughs> stranded their car here by accident. They're staying here for the time being. Sorry, stranded their car here? You crashed it? I did it! Yeah, the S in shack fell off, fell on it and everything, and the windows are cracked. And Autism was lucky to make it out alive. Fuck, that's such a good name. They were fine. No injuries, thankfully. The magnet gun's rather safe, despite never having been tested in a formal setting. Yeesh. Did you not, like, take safety precautions or anything? Thank you, Dipper. I'm adopting you. Actually, the irony of the situation is that I was trying to install a safety precaution. <laughs> hey, hey, if you two are gonna do your nerd talk, I'm gonna get autism set up. I'm Mabel, really sweetie, why don't you show autism around? Let them stay in uh, the storage room. That's still empty, right? Not anymore. I'll make it empty. Bless your soul, my sweet child. <laughs> the rest of the day consists of Mabel showing you to the storage room. You'll be staying in. Then the kitchen, then the living room, in the hallway, in the bathroom, and pretty much a comprehensive tour of the mundanities of a regular house. It's like we're stupid or something. <laughs> Have you seen this? It's a house. Yerm. 
Don't look at me. In the evening, though, you'd still be in dis- been in disbelief. Well, you got it, bud. <laughs> Bro, give me a second. See, we've been sitting here reading for like four minutes, and you're like, it's it. I'm you're, you're struggling, like me. man. <laughs> Little. Bill. 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 Anyways, Bill, returning to the guy. story. <laughs> Despite having been reassured, being a bit- Wow, holy fuck! You left and I could not read! You still feel like you're imposing on the Pines family, and, tri- and try preparing as a polite- And try- What the fuck is words? As polite a guest breakfast as you can. Preparing! Wow, holy fuck! You washed your dishes in the sink before you could leave, and just as you're about to exit the kitchen, you bump into Ford. <laughs> Excuse? Oh. Uh, okay. You're a yes from yesterday. Of course. I didn't forget you and totally was about to run. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Or clears his throat. <clears throat> I believe Stanley's taking a look at your car outside. If you want to be there for it. You give it a nod. And make a leave for real this time when Ford speaks up again. And autism? I'm sorry again for the accident. If it, if I'd been smarter about, well, let's just say it's entirely my fault, and you shouldn't worry about this at all. When it comes down to it, Stanley does have a knack for cars. I predict you'd be back on the road in a matter of weeks. Uh, I take it back. This is suspicious <laughs> as fuck. Like how badly did we? How like, bad is it fucked up? What am I gonna do with weeks? <laughs> well, there's a town and to tour, of course. Okay. You could go swimming and fall in love with us. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> All that pairs in comparison to... Pales in comparison to... Bitch, what the fuck? The squeal of a pig followed by a pair of quick fucks to... <laughs> God damn it! A scrap of rip paper from the waddle's jaws. Why do I have so much reading? Oh my god. Do you want me to continue? No, it's fine. Ford, who ran forward and held out a hand to steady this energetic child and she's been in danger of toppling over, now finds a a number of crumpled sheets of paper shoved into his hands. Mabel tugs urgently at his coat. Grunkle Ford, you have got to help me! Ford kneels down to face Mabel with a serious, though concerned, look. Slow down, Mabel. What's the matter? Dipper found a stack of pages from your old journals and blah, 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 from your old journals and walked in and Waddles ran up and started eating one of them. He must have been uh, been chewing on it to warn me, Grunkle Four, because look! Ding, ding, ding. Mabel takes a rip pass of pa- uh, paper back from Ford's hand and joins him to Kimber. Kimber, you're. Hmm, I see. You took this as a warning. Yes, it says here that it eats small dogs and Waddles is a small pig. He sort of looks like a dog from far away. Waddles must have been fearing for his life! Waddle seems to second this notion with a snort. Remember the pterodactyl I told you about? Waddle was so scared at the time, I can't let him leave myself. I can't be funny because I can't fucking read. How about I finish that repellent I never got around to completing? That'll keep Waddles safe from harm. Uncle Floyd, you are an actual lifesaver. Waddles, you have nothing to fear. Uh, Ford chuckles, lifting himself out of the kneel and standing back up, probably trying to acknowledge my existence that's been standing here awkwardly for the past five minutes. Uh, get to know Ford. Fuck the car. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to go to a It's going to take weeks. What am I expecting in one day? Come on. What about you? Are you a rational human or you want that? Dude, you cannot play a game with this <laughs> like this with me unless you expect that. I can that. tell. Sure, getting to know Ford is uh, fine. Really pro-conning this? Come on. Silver fox, silver fox. They're silver, both silver foxes. Silver fox, that's smart. Silver fox here, silver fox there, silver fox everywhere. Pick one. Maybe the option that's in front of us. I'll let you choose. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny. No, I know which one I want. I don't. Fine, like we'll go. Yeah. Ford, wait. I need a hand with that recipe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yerma. Yes, I suppose I could accept some help. Don't look at me. I'm gonna <laughs> slap you. Before we get started, I suppose I should give you an introduction. Yes? Autism. Tell me, do you believe in the supernatural? You're about to come face to face with an unexplainable. With the unexplainable yourself. That! You see, Gravity Falls is in some quiet, unassuming backwater town. Much more lurks by the lower. You're much. I will smack myself in the face. <laughs> For example, you must have heard Mabel mention the pterodactyl. Most would say non. None exist yep. in the living world today, <laughs> but I say, not if you know where to look. Some like no not some like no 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 not. The new title of the video is Struggling to Read. Hold on to my explanation for the moment. I need to retrieve some more supplies. Condom. Sorry. <laughs> See? He ushers us out of the gift shop entrance, so you find yourself outside the shed. Then he shuts the door behind he you. He grabbed gum and was like 
Get the fuck out. What? You corrected. <laughs> you correctly and politely just stand out here until a forward returns. And he does it! You just stand out there and he locks you out of the house. Not too long later, the door opens behind you and Ford joins you outside. Look, why did you just poke my fucking ankle? Because I touched it on accident and I was like, might as well touch it on purpose <laughs> now, I don't know. Looking no different than before, he must have stored whatever supplies he went to retrieve in his coat, but the trench coat falls too naturally on his figure for him to be hiding much. Keister, <laughs> what did you just say? Shoved it up his ass, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Where were we? Ah, uh, yes. Vagina. Four pulls a pen and a pad of paper from his coat, walking as he writes. Just as you're about to head out, he stops and smacks his hand to his face. Oh, shoot. One second. We picked the fucking weirdo, didn't we? Oh my god. Before you could get the chance to ask, he strides out ahead of you, obviously in no mind to tell you what it's for quite yet. The pair of you walk past the shack and down a well-worn path into the trees surrounding the house, sunlight peeking through the pines. Between the pines. Didn't I say that? Are you gaslighting me? <laughs> no, I'm not gaslighting Didn't you. Didn't I deadass say no. that? No. Sound like peeking through the pines. <laughs> Am I fucking crazy? Yes, you're crazy. You Pe did not say that. Into. Onto. The. <laughs> <laughs> onto. The. Paper. And tucks. It. Back. Into. One. Of his coat's seemingly infinite pockets. Stop and turn to face you. With a definitive nod. My recipe for repellent called for a spring of lavender, two thin slices of. You answer me that. Ginseng? <laughs> I don't know. Gang thing. <laughs> a drop of bad blood, a chunk of amber, and 3.5 milliliters of ink. And Paul's just staring down at the path in thought. Obviously, I already have all of those components on hand. Weirdo. All except for the one last ingredient a single moth swing. From Mothman him itself. Wouldn't it be himself? No. Also, if no, it took I, a it, whole it is wing, itself a because whole technically, wing? just because his name is Mothman doesn't a whole necessarily wing? make a whole wing from Mothman. That big bitch. Huh. I am making hands in a <laughs> outwardly gesture to show how big I think it is. Mothman? He has a seven foot wingspan. How? Okay, one wing? You're gonna just completely disable him for the rest of his life, you fuck ass. Do we want to dig into his past? Or do we want to be like, I'm bored, how much longer? <laughs> I'm gonna do like a Jennifer Coolidge kind of, ow. Oh God, a hot dog. <laughs> the moment the sun touches the horizon through the gaps of the treetops, four gestures for the two of you to continue. You hadn't noticed, but you've been resting within short distance of a small clearing that holds cylindrical stone maker. <coughs> the stone mar- oh, marker. I'm so smart. The stone marker bears intricate swirls carved into its surface. Ford reaches into his coat and produces the packet of- and per- per- it guesses and produces- I can't <laughs> you read. Got this. <laughs> Produces a pack of gum from earlier, opening it and dumping the piece out into his palm. Gum? Thanks. <laughs> I'm not sure of why you came all this way to unwrap gum at sunset. You accept the stick of gum. He unwraps the now empty gum packet to reveal that it was hiding a small piece of parchment folded up, acting as lining. He smoothed it out against the stone, holding it under the deep orange red light of the sunset. You step closer to look at over forward shoulder. The parchment holds a detailed drawing of the squirrels carved into the stone, documenting every single class of the snapshot. Board reads the words as they appear. Such a place the mothman doth rest. But please do not disturb his nest. If kindness be something thou be bear fit. That wasn't a word, okay? <laughs> you Wait, come go, here! Come go here! Go back, I wanna see. What is that? Bear fit? Ref, bear, bereft, b e r e f t, bereft, bereft. <laughs> Follow thy nature and turn left. Uh, I think we turn left. I think so. Autism. <laughs> we press onwards. He has some custom pocket. Oh fuck. He some has some custom pocket. God damn. He has a custom pocket worth going in on there, too. Fuck this fucking line. <laughs> we'll leave he you He pulls out a butterfly net and a large littered jar. Now where that- 
That one came from within his coat of mysteries is lost to you. Prison it up his ass. <laughs> prison, there's the prison wallet. Well, no, because how the fuck would he get it out that like that? He pulled the jar video onwards. Brother! You hunted me! Fuck. Forget it. <laughs> well, let God decide if I'm still recording. What if you just full on punch the shit out of him? <laughs> like <laughs> Has fucking like Pokemon battle music. Honorable battle cry. Yep. You charge straight at Mothman. It uh -huh. lets out a screech. It beats its wings aggressively, cueing you to dive straight at it. As soon as you make contact with Mothman's chest, the swarm of moths flutter around you, trying to escape. Wait, moths? Of course. <laughs> they like light. You turn the light on your phone back on and the bright light spooks the moths while keeping a few dancing around the light source nice you walk slowly back to ford who sees the remaining moths fluttering around the phone in your hands and puts the butterfly net back in his coat he gently brings the jar over one of them and screws it closed without any air holes so it dies well done autism that wasn't too hard was it i am I'm hard. <laughs> Why'd you say you were hard? Cause it's true! That was amazing. Liars. Ford turns to leave the cave. He looks calm and content. You, on the other hand, are buzzing with energy under an adrenaline, adrenaline rush. Dude. Should you go for a high five? Uh, six five. Fuck you, I'm doing it. Oh, look at the art. That's cute. I love the art. A few more steps and the Milky Way comes into view, looking as if a tear across the fabric of the sky. I think it's a tear. Yeah, it's probably a tear. <laughs> I've read tear as well, though. <laughs> Before notices you looking. You're beautiful in the moonlight. Ha. What? Huh? Oh, traveling. You know, I was in a different part of the world. Totally not in another dimension. <laughs> Your ex-boyfriend. Uh, anyways. Husband, uh, my bad. Bro. Shut up, ho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you the know one the reading. Truth. You know the truth. You'll have to show me the other creatures that live here sometime. After all, I have a couple of weeks. Sorry. <laughs> I'm You're still, still on that, dude. About that. <laughs> Fucking weeks, dude. Oh, fuck it, go. The what? Four taps is tentle. T tentle. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm holding you to that. I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> okay, why the fuck? I've noticed a pattern. You get these short ass sentences, and I get fucking paragraphs. <laughs> why is this happening? I don't know. What's Dipper like? A fucking loser. He's not intelligent. He's no, dumb. Just... I love Dipper so much. I don't know why I said that. Well, yeah, why are you saying that? You love all the characters. <laughs> um, I the triangle probably is gonna trigger him. I'm gonna be like, what? Uh... <laughs> what triangle? Where? <laughs> well, has any has anyone told you about the Gobblewonker? Yep, he lives under my bed. What? He lives under my bed. Okay. He wonks my willy. <laughs> no, he gobbles your willy. Yes! Yeah, maybe your stay won't be too bad after all. Debatable. <laughs> so cute! We're gonna stop here. <laughs> Alright, chat. Fuck you. I'm just kidding. But, um, goodbye! Yeah, but but the the Anyways, defining uh, yes. line of butt. NSFW one, okay? I don't think so either. But I will find fanfic to make that happen. Okay. <laughs> and we will read it! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, well. 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 Maybe. Well. His chest puffs out with pride. That's a sin. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you say that's a sin? I'm not like a seven deadly sin. I don't know why I'm thinking of that. Anyways. Oh, pride! I thought you said puffing out his chest was no. a sin. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck do you mean no, by that? No, pride! <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking yes. of I'm thinking of FMA and Seven Deadly Sins. We should watch Full Metal Alchemist. We're not gonna rewatch it. No! Not anytime soon. 2003 version. 2003. Please, 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 please. Maybe. There's a 2013 version. I don't remember. I want to watch it. Please. <laughs> Maybe. Hey! I got a coin out for this. I I got a coin to flip. Because <laughs> we can't make decisions on what old fart we want. And that is what you call making smart decisions. This is like a documentary of just women. <laughs> this is so stupid. I also stubbed my toe. It hurt.